Welcome to the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. Wherever you are today, if you're starting with nothing or are well on your way to the success you desire with the right people, processes, and promotions in place, you will be unstoppable. And now, I'd like to introduce your host, Mike Stromso. Welcome to episode 43 of the Unstoppable Profit Podcast. This is Mike Stromso coming to you live from the Living Agency Laboratory. And today we are going to dive in and find out more about an amazing experience that we have, not only today, but upcoming at in October at Be Unstoppable Boot Camp 2019. We have with us live today uh, the one, the only Kevin Eastman. Kevin, good morning. Thank you, and uh, I appreciate the fact that I'm the only. So, uh, although there are actually two Kevin Eastmans, uh, one of them may even be uh, uh, more noticeable than I am. Uh, and we found this out, uh, my wife did one day, when she was Googling me, and she found out that the, <laughs> the, 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 the guy who uh, uh, invented the Ninja Turtles name is Kevin Eastman. Really? So we, the Teenage yeah, Mutant so we, Ninja Turtles, I remember them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> now we probably couldn't live in two more different worlds, but um, right. uh, is a fact that yeah. I didn't even know. I, I remember uh, tie-dyeing um, uh, undergarments uh, for, for our kids for Halloween so they could be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What are the uh, thermal that's what it, the thermals that you wear when you go uh, camping in the cold and so forth. So uh, that was a, a special time in their lives. Great memories. Yeah. So you can say you talk to Kevin Eastman. They may say, oh, wow, how neat was that? Ninja Turtles. And you can just figure out what you want to say after that. I, I already know what I would say after that, Kevin. I am so captured uh, by the time we've spent together so far. I can't wait to uh, invest more time to spend with you in San Diego uh, coming up real soon. Uh, what I will share with uh, our kids and anybody else that will listen are the 25 Power Words of Champions, and uh, that is at the core of your most recent book, Why the Best are the Best, and uh, what a phenomenal read. Been through it once. I'm getting ready to head back to it a second time because just can't get enough of the power that's within that book. Great job, Kevin. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. You know, um, probably like uh, many of your listeners, and uh, this is something we'll talk about when I get out to, to, to California and San Diego, um, is the best are the best for a reason. And mm. I think if we want to become either the best at what we do or mm. our best in particular, mm-hmm then we mm-hmm. have to find out what those reasons are, and then we have to figure a way to insert them uh, immediately into our own lives and, and how we operate. So the book was, uh, was fun to do because uh, it challenged me to actually complete uh, that, that mission of trying to write a book. And um, it also allowed me, because I've had some, gosh, some incredible experiences and opportunities in my past uh, through, through the sport of basketball, and I've learned so much from being around the elite of the elite in, in our industry. And there are reasons why they get the most out of themselves. And that's what, uh, that's what basically the central theme is in the book and kind of what I relay in the time that I have ever on stage. Mm. That's fantastic stuff. And, and that's what we want for everybody that, uh, you know, is in, in one of our coaching programs or comes to one of our live events. We want them to be able to get the most out of themselves. What a great segue, Kevin. Kevin, let, let me uh, share uh, with everybody who's listening right now or listening to the podcast in the future uh, just a little bit about who Kevin Eastman is and why they should listen to every single word that you say, Kevin. Um, I, I've been so fortunate to spend time with Kevin. I've learned uh, he's influential with Nike, the LA Rams, the LA Clippers, um, 13 years in the NBA, uh, part of an NBA championship team at the core of the coaching head. Uh, he was the Clippers VP of basketball operations. He's been an assistant coach with the LA Clippers and the Boston Celtics, uh, namely during their championship years with the Celtics as well. 22 years a college coach, 11 as a head coach, NBA world championship with the Boston Celtics in 2008, NBA finals with the Boston Celtics in 2010. He's worked with and or coached NBA All-Star like Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, Kevin Durant, and the list is long, so I'm not going to go with all of them right now. 
He's been elected to his high school and the College Hall of Fame, uh, and he's a consultant to Nike's basketball elite college and high school players organizations. Uh, like Kevin said, I am honored and fortunate right now to spend a few minutes with Kevin Eastman, and in addition to that, if you want to get more and experience more with Kevin Eastman Live, please be unstoppablebootcamp.com. Be unstoppablebootcamp.com is where you need to go. Get yourself signed up. Make that commitment. Commitment is the thing you were said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has passed. Make that commitment. It will change your life. I personally guarantee it. Every time that I've uh, invested in myself to be with uh, Kevin Eastman, it has been an absolute game changer for me and, and ultimately changes my life. Kevin, let, let's add on to the elite of the elite because that's what we want for everybody uh, that's listening to this and comes to our boot camps and beyond that. Uh, anything else to add there? Well, I think the word you used is, um, uh, you know, this isn't about uh, taking a dollar out of your pocket and uh, filling out a form that says I'm going to uh, this seminar. It is truly about an investment and, um, you know, the, the one thing we have control over is what we put into our own lives to get to wherever mm -hmm. we want to go and to fill the dreams that we had maybe as a little kid and even mm -hmm. reach the goals we've set as an adult. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're entitled to nothing in this world, mm -hmm. and certainly we're not entitled mm -hmm. to success. So the, the fundamental question that I always challenge anyone, whether it be a NBA all-star, a uh, NFL quarterback, it doesn't matter. Uh, an employee at a uh, just a small business. It doesn't matter. We have to make mm. a decision. And that mm. decision is, do we want to live in the world of entitlement mm. or do we want to start to understand the power of investment? And as I often say to, to um, when I speak to companies and, and it's the entire kind of team that's in that room as I'm speaking, mm -hmm. I, I always mm -hmm. tell them teams of entitlement never win titles. And mm. you can try and win a title on the, on the sports field, but you're also trying to win a title by becoming the best you can be in whatever industry you are in. And you can't win that title with a group, a team, or a philosophy or a vibe of entitlement. It just can't happen. So, um, you know, what's interesting is you take a guy like LeBron James. Mm. He invests $1 million a year just on his body, just on his body. To get wow. his body right. So that's how important investment is. It's mm. not a cost that you put out. It's an investment that you bring in. Wise words. I, I have to repeat what you just said. <laughs> One of the things you just said, Kevin, teams of entitlement never win titles. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm going around thinking – uh, let's use my sport. Mm. You, you know, I, I have an opportunity to speak to a lot of probably players and uh, that your listeners may see on TV every day, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, so it's <laughs> for them. You know, they they understand that uh, to get to where they want to go, an investment has to be made, and they're mm -hmm. not guaranteed anything. And you know mm. what the interesting thing is about the best of the best? None mm. of them have ever thought they have arrived. They mm. just felt that it's the next stop, the next level. Um, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, I had a chance to do some things with Michael, and, and uh, mm. we were standing there at midcourt one day, and we were watching 10 of the best college players actually playing on the court. And I'll never forget, he said something uh, to me that has stuck with me uh, ever since then. He said, you know, these guys are all good at the level they're playing at right now, the college level, but they don't understand that when they get to the pros, it's a totally different animal. Uh, everything is, 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 uh, is better, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the quality of play is better. And I said, well, so what's your, uh, what's your thought here? And he said, uh, they have to start to understand that success doesn't stop once you get there. If you want to become your best or the best, mm -hmm. success doesn't stop once you get there. You've just arrived mm -hmm. at a new spot. So right. the interesting thing is that, uh, you know, kind of average people feel they're entitled because entitlement means I don't have to work. I'm just given something. Right. But, the you know, the best of the best, they know that work is part of the equation. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Wise, wise words. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, I, I want to dive into one more thing, uh, and I'm looking at the list of the 25 power words of champions, and I know you're going to go into much deeper detail in San Diego and work together. Cannot wait. But the first one on the list uh, is such a basic word, but I know you have a different um, definition of it, if you will, and every time that I've heard you talk about it live, it's just been my mouth sitting there, I'm sure it's open, forgive me for that, but I'm just like, wow, okay? And you said, uh, the first word is truth. And I've heard you right. talk about on multiple occasions, truth needs three things. Yeah, yeah. And um, a couple of things as I answer this, you, you know, mm. the words, and you hinted at this, the words say in the book or that it, the mm. words that are most important to the most successful people, they're mm -hmm. words that everyone has heard, but right. is some people have these words in their vocabulary. Other people live these words. And when you start living uh -huh. these words, it's yeah. when your life can change. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I, I also talk about this. Look, every word in there, whether it be truth, action, intentional, preparation, accountability, that they've all heard those words. But if I put a simple two-letter word in front of those words, then they'll really start to see how powerful these words are. For instance, if you or your company, whoever's out there listening, had no mm -hmm. truth in your building, is that where you is that the type of company you want to be? If you had no intentionality, if you had no preparation, if you had no accountability, if you had no sacrifice, is that the type of company that can reach the goals that you've set for yourselves? And the answer is that two-letter word. No, it's not. So we got to live these words. And the single most important word in all of success, we have always believed, is the word truth. Because mm -hmm. how can you truly get to where you want to go if you don't know, number one, uh, what you're doing right and to continue to do that? And, and more importantly, number two, the things you are, are not doing well that you need to change. And then the third thing is you need to know the truth about what you don't even know you should be doing. Because you don't know it. So, and, and, and you said it. The truth does need three things. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to live it. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to tell it. And you need to be able to take it. And for this uh, podcast, we don't have enough time. So that would be something, mm -hmm. say, um, in San Diego, that mm -hmm. because this is such an important word, that we would go into uh, greater depth about. Absolutely. Uh, just incredible. Kevin, I, I also have uh, some notes that I continually review uh, about your uh, work with Nike. And uh, I think that a lot of people have heard about, they've had their, their ups and their downs, just like anybody else. I learned from one of my greatest marketing mentors ever. You know, if you haven't upset somebody by noon, sometimes you're not doing your job. And I get that aspect of it. But you know, uh, you said Nike doesn't do events, they do experiences. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, anybody can put an event on because that mm -hmm. has an agenda with all the times and what person is supposed mm -hmm. to be there and making sure the microphones get turned on. And uh, if you have a celebrity coming in, okay, is security there so that he doesn't mm -hmm. or she doesn't get disturbed? Anyone can put an event on. But you leave an event pretty much the way you got there, right? But right. with Nike, they, they think at, putting on an event is average. Anyone can do that. Putting on an experience, totally different thing, man, because an experience, it gets to your, to your heart. It gets to mm. your, your gut. It gets to every fiber of your body because when you leave there, you kind of feel like you've changed a little bit. And an event could be uh, how uplifting it is. An event could be how in incredibly helpful it is to those who attend. Uh, an event could be uh, uh, sharing to greater depth than, uh, excuse me, an experience could be sharing to greater depth than others. Mm -hmm. An experience mm -hmm. is, is it's, it's first class in, in, in every which way, from the notepad that's on the table to the pen to to, to the signage, it's, it's just a first-class event, but it, uh, excuse me, experience. But it, an experience, the way Nike determined, uh, decided 
was, or defined, I should say, was that the, take, the people don't just take the information out of the building. They take the feeling out of the building with them. Experience plus feeling. That's fantastic. And, and at the end of the day, that's what fuels us. It's an emotional result, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the heart's a powerful thing. So is the head. But the, you know, the head, the heart, and the gut are, are, yeah. are, are three of the most powerful things we have. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking uh, in, in a summation of why the best are the best. And it talks about strategies to, to overcome something in our world. We don't call them failures. We call them lessons. We have wins and we have lessons. We have wins and we have lessons. And lessons are our teachers, right? And so yeah. you help people uh, in your world, uh, albeit championship caliber teams all over North America, overcome failures and find a way to create their own personal success plans, all right? So you also talk about uh, daily mindsets and habits and strategies uh, for the elite. Can you share with us just a couple that come to mind uh, as we begin to wrap this up? What are some daily well, mindsets and habits and, and things that the elite people do? Because uh, like we talked about earlier, Kevin, we want – these people to be the elite of the elite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, and I totally get that. And uh, you know, uh, the mindset could be in, in so many different areas and, and it's really, that's not the only set that's, that's mm. important. There's three mm. sets uh, that all mm. of us have to master in order to get to where we want to go. And those sets are skill set, mindset and reset. And if we can, if we can master all three of those, the skills, whatever it is, the craft that you are in, the skills you need, uh, the, the reset is how do we deal with uh, failure? And mm -hmm. also, how do we deal with success? Because our biggest opponent isn't uh, the shop across the street. For us, it isn't the Golden State Warriors. For the New mm -hmm. England Patriots, it wasn't the Los Angeles Rams. Really, our biggest opponent, all of us, is human nature. Mm. How do we deal with success and how do we deal with failure? So mm. uh, an example of a mindset, it might be uh, this thing I call knowing your nose. And the second nose is N-O apostrophe S. You have to know your nose. What are the things that you are not going to allow yourself to do? Where are you? Mm. Where, what are your non-negotiables? Like for me personally, not for my company, uh, I'm not talking about that, but you personally, so mm. some of my no's on my list are no settling, no excuses, no regrets, no burn bridges, no procrastination. Those are some of my no's, and I actually carry that list with me everywhere I go. I, I keep a blue folder with me that's in my briefcase at all times. It'll be with me uh, out there in San Diego um, because when I'm on a plane, a plane is a classroom. Mm. When I'm at a stoplight, a stoplight is a, uh, depending on what city you're in, a 30 to 90 second pot potential reminder mm -hmm. uh, of things I need to do. So, uh, you know, and a mindset could be simply um, like, what is your purpose statement? Because your right. purpose statement should be how you set your mind each and every day, because that's what you're going after. And I, I you know, I've written my own. So, I can look at that, and that kind of resets my mindset. So, you know, when you wake up every day, like for me, I, I hope every one of your listeners and everyone who attends in San Diego, that uh, they're kind of like, I, I, at least this may be silly, but this is me. Uh, I can't wait to wake up in the morning, and I actually get upset with, with myself that I have to go to bed at night because it doesn't mm. let me, when I'm sleeping, I don't think, I, 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 I don't seem to get better, I don't seem to... To, to have the juice, uh, right, because I'm sleeping. So, right. uh, so that's why every day, uh, you know, when I wake up, I, I, can't, I can't wait to attack the day. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fun challenge to see how much you can get out of your day. Absolutely agree. And, but like you, like you just talked about, 
It's about the three sets. It's your skill set, your mindset, and your reset. So uh, when when we do say go to bed, that's, that's part of our reset. Agree? Yeah, but I wish we had a like a remote where we could get that reset. And boom, <laughs> all of a sudden we're no, I right. totally get it. I totally yeah, yeah. get it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but but, but, it, but it's our, minds, our mindset that we set coming out of the gate every day, and I love the fact that you have your own personal purpose statement. I think that's fantastic, and, and I agree that everybody should have something that refreshes their mind, that resets their mind all of the time, uh, because it's, it's a rough world out there. It's, it's a rough I, – I can only imagine, Kevin, you get to hang with the elite of the elite at the top. I mean – it's been said, the bigger you get, the bigger the challenges, right? Yeah, but, I mean, any challenge that's in front of any of us at any level of mm-hmm. life, no matter what we do, is the challenge for us. And, and mm-hmm. each challenge for each of us is, is, is hard. That's why they call them challenges. Right. But, um, right. but that's the fun part of every day. Uh, right. You know, the best of the best, they get, pa- they get past three things, mad, mm. sad, and hard. Uh, they just have a, a mindset such that they're going to get past mad. And we're all going to get mad. We're going to be sad sometimes. Things didn't work out for us. And we have to get past hard because success is, is hard. That's, that's part of the, the journey you have to take. You have to kind of get over some obstacles. That's why, um, uh, that's why success, chasing success is, is so much fun. Uh, but that's a mindset for me. You know, yeah. uh, it might not be that way for others. I enjoy trying to see if I can kind of climb that next rung of my personal ladder, whatever part of yeah. my life it is, spiritually, yeah. physically, mentally, mm-hmm. whatever. So, but yeah. that purpose statement is like, that's important because like it, and I know some people say, well, I don't even know how to begin to write one. Um, I mean, mine is, I, I don't mind saying it, mine is so simple. It's, it's to impact and inspire as many as I can by sharing as much as I have learned and experienced to help people reach the goals they have set as adults and fulfill the dreams they had as a child. That's kind of my main purpose in life. Basically, it's saying I'm, I want to help people get to where they want to go. What an incredible share. Thank you so much for sharing that. And we will use that as a wrap-up uh, for today, Kevin. Um, I, but I have to ask you, uh, you just also dropped three more gold nuggets. And, and I know that, that at the top of my list of things that I've learned from Kevin Eastman, it's the gold nugget list because that's what you just tend to do. You drop gold nuggets everywhere you go. You said the best of the best get past three things. What were those again? Mad, sad, and hard because really all three of those oftentimes are selfish. Mm. And if we're selfish, we can't get to where we want to go because Mm. nobody who's attained anything in life has done it on their Mm. own. We all Mm. need somebody else. Mm. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. I, I know you have coaches. I have three coaches. Uh, absolutely, we need other people who can see things that we can't see, right? Yeah, great way to put it. To help us down the road. Kevin Eastman, thank you for uh, investing time today to share with everybody that's listening to this uh, or reading it uh, down into the future. And uh, if you... Uh, liked just a little bit of what you heard today uh, from Kevin Eastman, uh, please come to San Diego and join us for Kevin Eastman Live. We're going to get uh, an incredible, rare opportunity uh, to meet Kevin and to learn from him. And uh, this man is just so full of information on how to be the elite of the elite in any industry. And so beunstoppablebootcamp.com, beunstoppablebootcamp.com. And, and I know because J- Kevin, one of the things that Kevin carries, uh, and I've no- noticed this in, in getting to invest time and spend time with him, he's got such a generous heart. So I'm sure we'll come up with something else that uh, w- we don't know about right now to, to help the people in San Diego. And, and Kevin, I love your personal purpose statement of the fact that you want to impact people's lives because here in the Unstoppable Profit Producer Program, that's our goal as well. We want to impact people's lives personally and professionally. 
that's at the core of what we talk about internally. So, Kevin, I can't wait uh, to invest more time with you in San Diego and to uh, just hang out with you and see you again. Uh, it's always uh, full of gold nugget, as I said. So, anything, any last thing to add, Kevin? Well, I, you know, well, first of all, I'm looking forward to actually uh, meeting as many people as I can when I'm out there because I, I don't just like to uh, uh, speak and run. So um, right. I'll probably actually be in there and listening uh, as well so that I can learn. And then uh, the other thing I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I guarantee is, a, uh, and not everybody gets to do this, but uh, I'm going to take people uh, inside the locker rooms, inside the, the staff meetings, inside the player meetings, so they get an inside look of true hardcore examples of, of why the best truly are the best. Wow. Wow. You're not going to want to miss that. I can't wait, Kevin. We are yeah. honored, fortunate, and blessed to have you uh, join us at the boot camp. No, thanks, Mike. All righty, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kevin Eastman, uh, thank you so much for your time today. Remember, everybody, beunstoppablebootcamp.com, and when you're out there, and Kevin, we didn't even know this, and, and I, I had a note, but uh, we haven't had a chance to talk about this. I'm going to drop uh, one, of, one of our three uh, mindset mantras, if you will. It's make a difference, be unstoppable, leave no regrets, and we've been sharing that with people for years, Kevin. That's what we don't want for people we don't want people to have any regrets in life wow so. yeah that, uh, unbelievable love that love it yeah yeah so kevin eastman again thank you so much for your time today sir you got it thanks everybody this is going to be an absolutely amazing opportunity to huddle with kevin eastman personally in san diego so Ladies and gentlemen, go out there, make a difference, be unstoppable, and leave no regrets. Have a phenomenal, one-of-a-kind day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening. If you would like to listen to more episodes or share this podcast with someone you care about, please visit www.unstoppableprofitpodcast.com. Now go out and make a difference, be unstoppable, and leave no regrets.